Hi there, my name's Simon. Welcome to another video where I'm going to share with you some hints and tips about how to improve your online teaching environment. And this video is for Apple Mac users. I've got some great news for you. OBS Virtual Camera will now work with Apple Macs. This is fantastic news. In the past, when you downloaded OBS, you could use OBS on an Apple Mac, but to use the virtual camera, this wouldn't work. Just to explain, the OBS program could only work with Skype or Zoom or Google Meet if you had a virtual camera sitting between the two. And the problem was for Mac users was that the OBS virtual camera plugin didn't work, which meant that you had to find some kind of complicated workaround to get the same effect that was easily obtainable if you were using a PC, for example. So uh, I did a video about this. I explained what the problem was. And as you can see, it was one of the most attacked videos uh, that I've ever done. Largely, I guess, Apple Mac users not happy with the message I was telling them that you couldn't use OBS to improve your online teaching. But the good news is, as of August the 27th, you now can use OBS Virtual Camera with Apple Macs. If you have a look at the last sentence down there, it says Mac and Linus, uh, Linux implementations of this plugin are still in development and will be coming in the following days. So what's going on? On the 27th of August, OBS Studio 26 release candidate was released for people to download and use and to find out where the bugs are and send feedback to the OBS developers so that they could fix these bugs. And this is part of the development process before OBS 26 is officially released as a finalized product. The good news for you guys is, is that was a month ago. So already we're on release candidate three, which means that a lot of the bugs have already been ironed out. But Mac users are reporting that they can use the OBS virtual camera and that they can use OBS with Google Meet, with Zoom, or with Skype. What's the big change? Now OBS virtual camera is an integral part of OBS. You don't have to download any plugins. You don't have to do any complicated um, getting the programs to work together. Everything is part of OBS. So there's a bit of a learning curve. You've got to find out where it is. You've got to turn it on. There's um, a short learning curve, as I said. But from what I understand, it works well, and you guys can already use it to teach online. Now, the relevant links are below this video. So if you want to download Release Candidate 3, then click on that link below. Uh, there's also another link full of information and you can leave feedback if you come across any bugs. If you're trying to do something and something doesn't work, leave the feedback below so the developers can make further improvements to the product and hopefully get OBS 26 as a finish, finished final product out to you guys faster. Okay, when OBS 26 is finally released as a finished product, I will go back through all of my videos and I will amend the vi description below the video saying that OBS can now work with Apple Mac. So if you want to wait until then, go ahead. If you want to download the release candidate three now and start using the virtual camera, then you can look at all of my videos. They are now relevant for you. So hopefully you'll be able to start improving your online teaching environment now. Okay, guys, if you like this video, click the like button. If you like my content, please subscribe below. And please be sure to check out my other videos. The reason why this channel exists to help you guys improve your professional English writing skills. There's something for everyone, really. And uh, native speakers and non-native speakers alike, everyone's professional English writing skills can be improved. So please check out those videos and I'll see you again soon.